Hi, my name is Hayden On, and uh, today we are going to be doing first grade lesson 21 math. Uh, let's just start right away using a table. Use the table to answer the questions. Let's go straight into it. Number one, how many pets does Max have? So we did go over tables last time. So if we just look at the name, we look for Max. I'll highlight it right here. And we just go to the corresponding box. So, five is the answer. Uh, let's do... Let's do number four. How many pets does Eduardo have? So, again, we go to names and we find Eduardo. There he is. And the corresponding number right here is seven. So, Eduardo has seven pets. Uh, let's just do one more to number eight. Eduardo has more pets than Max. How many more pets does Eduardo have? So first, how many more? That's a subtraction question. So the sign inside would be a minus. And then Edward, Eduardo has more. And we know the number of pets Eduardo has. It's seven. And Max has five pets. So the bigger number goes in the front. So seven. And then it's minus five, which is two. Uh, moving on to okay, we're going to be using a table. So this is another table. Let's just again Go straight into it. Extra number one. Uh, how many points does Kayla have? So if we go to the table, Kayla's right here. And if we go to this corresponding number 28. So Kayla has 28 points. Uh, let's do let's do number six. Who has fewer points than Jamal? So fewer means fewer for those of you guys who don't know. Um, fewer means smaller. So we're looking for a number that's less than the one Jamal has. So if we go up here real quick and we look at Jamal. Here, I'll highlight him in green. Jamal, right here. He has 33. Oh, wait. Sorry. 33 points. So, now we, we're going to be looking at all the other numbers of all the other people and see who has less. So, first, let's start with Michael. Michael has 30. 30 is smaller than 33, so star him. Laura has 40. 40 is bigger than 33, so she doesn't count. And Kayla has 28. 28 is smaller than 33. And Bradley has 46, which is bigger than 33, so he's a no. So the two are Michael and Kayla. So you can just write their names right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael and... Just like that. Now let's just move straight on. Practice facts 0 through 18. So write each sum in different circle the flamingo with the greatest answer. Mm. Oh. Okay, so let's go straight into it. Let's just do all of number one. I'll help you guys go down the entire row because this could be a little confusing. First, we see these two numbers, 8 plus 7. Um, you know, you guys, if you guys can do this in your head, that's amazing. If you can't, it's fine. We can write it out. Um, I'm going to write it out sideways, but you guys can do it however you want. You can use a separate sheet of paper. Maybe turn your device sideways when you're watching this. But 8, and we're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, and just count 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 8 plus 7 is 15. And then we do these two, this equation now, which is 15 minus 9. So you can use the number line method and go backwards. So you can start at 15. And go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
can count backwards. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That. So, 6 would be the answer. But, a uh, quicker way to do this, if you don't want to do this number line method right here, would be... If you can do it in your head, that would be amazing. But, we can also kind of use context clues and use the numbers from the previous equation. Because 9 and 8 are only one number apart. Right? 9 is bigger than 8 by 1. Which means that the answer to our question right here would be a number smaller than 7. Which is 6. If you didn't get that, it's totally fine. It was just a tip for you guys. And now we just move on to these last two pairs, and we solve this equation. So 6 plus 7. So for this one, we can again count. It should just be 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Bam. So 13 is the answer. And basically... That's the first step, and right here, the second step is to circle the flamingo with the greatest answer. And you would do that by, you know, solving all of these down. Every single one of these. And then, once you get all these answers right here, or here, make it clearer. Just like this 13, once you get an answer for all these boxes, you're gonna see which one is the biggest number, right? We're gonna find the. You can't really see that that well. Biggest number. And then you would circle the flamingo that corresponds. Yep. Alright, let's move on our last page adding tens and ones so if we look at the example real quick when we're doing um a bigger number a double digit number we're going to f uh, we would like to do it vertically so set the numbers on top of each other just like this and do the ones first straight down and then do the tens next so we would Take turns, if that makes sense. Let's do an example together. Let's do number one right here. 63 plus 4. So, first, you look at the ones, which is just the most left two numbers. Most the numbers on the left. So, 3 plus 4, uh, we know how to do this. 3 plus 4 is just 7. You can use a number line method if you're unsure, or you can count in your head. Use your fingers. And then, we do... The ten section. Um, for the, in this case, there's only one number in the ten section, so you can just bring it straight down. So the answer to this question would be sixty-seven. Uh, let's do. Oops, let's do one more problem. We or two more problems. Do we're gonna do? Let's do a big one. Let's do number 7. 45 plus 34. So first we look at the 1 section. 5 plus 4. Um, you can count. Use the number line method. 5 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the 1's place is 9. And then 4. Or the ten, and then we'll go over the 10's place. 4 and 3. So 4 plus 3 is, again, you can do the number line method, but I'm just going to do it in my head. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the answer to number 7 is 79. All right, let's just do one last one. Let's do number 11 together. 46 plus 53. Again, first you start off in the ones place. 6 plus 3. Uh, you can do the number line method. 6, 1, 2, 3. Bam. 9 would be the answer for the ones place. And then you can focus on the tens place. Four plus five. You can do the number nine method or count. Up to you. Uh, let's just do the number nine method right here. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Count. Six, seven, eight, nine. So the tens place is nine, which means the actual answer for number eleven is ninety-nine. 
and that it will be it thank you